go. Hi there. My name is Arnaud Frédéric. I'm the sales director of Chateau Gru La Rose, which is the second growth located in the very famous appellation of Saint-Julien, which is right in the middle of Poyac and, and Margot, if you look at the map. And the appellation is really well known for its ability to blend uh, the power of Poyac and the finesse from Margot. And this is defi definitely the, the style we stand for at the estate. Just to introduce myself very briefly, um, I was born and raised at the estate because my father was the vineyard manager for more than 30 years. So it's, uh, it's always very special for me to, to, to say a few words about the estate. Something you need to know is uh, everything started almost 300 years ago in 1725 when an abbot called Mr. Gruot started to plant some vines in the area. It started from scratch basically and it went up to 82 hectares. He gave the, the estate to his nephew in 1784 who was a knight and it became Gruot La Rose because of the link of the two names, Abbot Gruot and Knight de la Rose. Unfortunately, he died during the French Revolution. Take a while, guess how? And he didn't get any inheritance, so by just this decision, the estate was split in two parts, owned by two famous négociants from Bordeaux, which were the <laughs> And it became a single estate again. One of the main assets of Gruot La Rose is to get these 82 hectares as a so-called single block estate which means that the vineyard is all around the, the, the chateau, which is obviously a huge asset in ter of terroir homogeneity. What we used to do back in the day in the Medoc area, they used to plant uh, the Cabernet Sauvignon at the bottom of the slope and the Merlot at the top. Guys, don't get me wrong. It's not the Pyrenees Mountains there, but it's still, there is still two Ely gravel now. And to match what we call the, the, the couple uh, between uh, grape variety and soil, uh, so to match the right uh, soil with the right grape variety, the reason why we do that is because at the top of the slope, we have really poor soil, acid soil with big gravel that suits perfectly the king of the grapes, uh, which is the Cabernet Sauvignon. And, and at the bottom of the slope, we're going to have more clay, sandy kind of soil. For, they are perfect for the mallow. And uh, I just want to tell you a few words about the, the motto of Gros La Rose, which is the king of the wines, the wine of the kings. Obviously, you got it, humility is our foremost concern. Uh, no, it's just part of the history of the estates because Gros La Rose was the, the first wine uh, export uh, throughout, out of the French boundaries. And as you can see, starting vintage 2018, all the bottles are waxed. So this is not a marketing pitch. This is definitely a technical concern because first of all, of course, white wine are more subject to oxidation than red wine, but it's a better protection against oxidation. And the second thing is when you dive in the bottle in, in the wax, uh, it's over 100 Celsius degrees and it kills all the bacteria at the top of the core. So guys, uh, I really look forward to host you at the estate. I hope you will enjoy as much as we do. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> I really enjoyed showing you the Gruyère Rose. Cheers. Okay, one, two.